So in this lecture, we will see one of the most important process of plant matrix, which is called as a calibration process. Now, first of all, we should understand what exactly the meaning of this calibration. See, whenever you want to use any sort of measurement instrument in your process, so your first duty is to ensure that whether that measurement instrument is perf working perfectly or not. Now, in order to check the perfectness of the measuring equipment, we generally go for a calibration process. So it is a periodic calibration process. Suppose you have a temperature gauges, you have a pressure gauges, you have a different type of flow meters in your factory. Now, whether this temperature gauges, pressure gauges and flow meters are working fine or not, to check their performance, we go for a calibration. Okay, so plant maintenance calibration order is a plant maintenance special order that tests whether the specific piece of test equipment fulfills the performance criteria or not. See, sometimes calibration and condition monitoring can also be clubbed. Okay, because in calibration process, we have a certain guideline. We want to make sure that your instrument is working as per guideline or not. And in condition monitoring also, we, we, are, we uh, go for the same thing. We have uh, some condition and we want to check whether that condition is deteriorating or not. So this type of thing comes under the calibration or condition monitoring. Now, first of all, to check this condition monitoring and calibration, what type of data you needed? We have, we have seen uh, in case of a preventive maintenance, we created a plan, uh, maintenance plan. In case of a breakdown maintenance, we created notification, then we created order. So primarily our process will remain same but the difference will be in terms of uh, one more addition. Here, for the calibration purpose, PM module gets integrated with other module that is called QM, quality management module, okay? Because all the parameters of your equipment or machine or instrument can be created as an inspection characteristic, that characteristic which you want to track. So. For that purpose, we are going to use the QM module. And in QM module, there are different type of inspection available. Few inspections are carried out for raw material. Few inspections are carried out for semi-finish or finished product. In, a, in the same line, there is one inspection type called 14, inspection type 14, which is used for our calibration purpose. So, what details you need or what master you need? So, primarily, as I said, it is a calibration is a mixture of a preventive and the QM. So, if we talk about the calibration, so here, on a PM front, we need Primarily master, like what equipment we want to calibrate. So you need equipment master. Then how this equipment is to be calibrated that we consider under the task list, right? So that task list will be common in nature and your integration between QM and PM is done with the help of task list. Now you have equipment master and task list. As I told you, the calibration is a scheduled job. Uh, you need to perform this calibration periodically uh, in the 15 days or as per in a one month or three months. It is generally it is as per the manufacturer's suggestion or the guideline. So for that purpose, we need another for automatic scheduling. We need maintenance plan. Then we need maintenance plan schedule. However, on QM side, we need, first of all, we need one master inspection characteristic, master 
inspection characteristic this the master inspection characteristic is a characteristic which you want to check which you want to verify whether that characteristic is performing as per your guidelines of the manufacturer or not then this master inspection characteristic after that as i told you that here this is integration between pm and qm so in qm in order to check any master or any type of equipment we create one inspection plot this is this shall be generated automatically and after that we need to perform result recording result recording is putting actual result in our system then last one is called user's decision whether that equipment or instrument what you have checked is performing well or not you want to continue its uses in your factory operations or not so which is called user's decision either you can accept that instrument for uses or you can do rejection now here the integration works in this way your master inspection characteristic shall be a part of a task list and when you have a maintenance order in hand when you plan or when you schedule the maintenance plan you will get one maintenance order like we have seen in case of preventive maintenance so along with the maintenance order you will have a maintenance order so along with your maintenance order you will have a one inspection lot so in this way this will be connected so i'll do one thing i'll quickly go and i'll create the uh, required master setup for the calibration purpose so here i'm creating one pressure gauge i01 is a t code for equipment creation i am putting description as a pressure gauge and all other details shall remain same for uh, calibration there is no any specific requirement from uh, for the uh, as far as the equipment master is concerned here you can put indicator a b c whatever you want to do and bradley is manufacturer and i saved it okay so this is equipment master which i have created let us copy this number equipment master now we will create one task list okay prior to this task list creation let us understand what exactly this master inspection characteristic so master inspection characteristic is basically a characteristic which you want to check now i have a few characteristic which i have created so let us go through those all those characteristic so you can go to logistics under quality management then quality inspection sorry under basic data here inspection characteristic okay so inspection characteristic is also called as a mic so first of all it is a plant dependent master then validity date you can give any name for this let's say i am giving name as a test now see either a characteristic can be a quantitative characteristic or qualitative characteristic the meaning of quantitative and qualitative is that in case of a quantitative characteristic you will have a something which which is to be measured in terms of a number or in terms of a quantity or in terms of a, when i say quantity it doesn't mean it is only relevant to the weight it is anything which is which can be measured at absolute number okay like your weight distance movement time all these are a quantitative characteristic however 
we have also some qualitative characteristic qualitative characteristic means quality is good or bad whether material accepted or rejected it is subjective in nature so for calibration purpose we are going to use quantitative characteristic here one important thing your characteristic must be released then description of a characteristic let's say i'm giving description as a pressure okay this is here in order to make your search easy you can also give some search field now as i press enter every characteristic will have something to check see this this is a quantitative characteristic so when you want to compare anything so let's take example of a weighment suppose you have a one weighment scale so there would be some range from 0 kg to 200 kg okay it means 0 is a lower limit and 200 is upper limit so either you can use this combination of 0 200 if your characteristic is in the range then you have to select lower and upper both and if your characteristic is not in range it is the exact target value let's say my pressure should be 50 bar okay now this 50 bar is a target value so in that case we need to select the check target value and apart from that here we have a sampling procedure see sampling procedure is primarily a one application under the qm management which talks about how the sampling is to be drawn okay then also here we have another thing which we called is inspection scope whether this inspection scope is fixed in nature it can be variable it can be fixed from here record measured value it means whatever values you are going to you are going to enter in the system that value should be recorded okay so this is these are a few primary thing okay i'll tell you one thing i'll go, i'll open my characteristic which i have already created i have assumed that our calibration will work in this way i have created a characteristic called 0% which says pressure at 0 kg i want to calibrate a pressure gauge okay and in pressure gauge i want simply to calibrate i'm I'll, i'm going to put some pressure let's say if i'm not putting any pressure then what is the value of my pressure gauge it must be zero okay if without putting any pressure your pressure gauge is showing some value let's say 0.1 bar it means there is a error in your pressure gauge and you shouldn't use this pressure gauge so now what do you what do you can do you have to correct that pressure gauge with the help of instrumentation technicians okay so i have created three different characteristic 0% 50 and 100 so let us do one thing let us go to the next master which is my task list as we know that task list contains a list of operation to be done but here the role of task list is not only to monitor the list of operation but here the task list act as a integration point between qm module and pm module okay so new task list key date because a few details we have already shared during the task list part here again put the pressure gauge calibration the name my planning plant is pm01 everything will remain same your uses for which says task list is for this particular task list is for plant maintenance planner group 
the person responsible for this task list status whether this task list is to be in what stated it is in creation phase for release for ordering release for costing release general okay when i say release general it means this task list can be used everywhere okay if i say release for costing it means that task list can be used for costing only not for ordering and other purposes here we have a maintenance strategy so if you remember we have created one strategy called pm this maintenance strategy controls the frequency of maintenance schedule of maintenance monthly two monthly three monthly six monthly yearly in this way here for the purpose of calibration see here we got a one option called qm data see in qm data whenever you want to perform any calibration so the integration the first integration point is an inspection point inspection point is one variable that variable can consider the information about the equipment okay so i'm putting a now i'm going to the operation overview tab so here i'm simply putting my description because here i'm not going to perform oiling greasing all the work which i have done in preventive maintenance here my objective is simply to calibrate and what should be the frequency of calibration that can be given with the help of maintenance package here okay so here i selected maintenance package as a monthly now for this calibration purpose what are the inspection characteristic i want to use so to assign the inspection characteristic you need to click here inspection characteristic and here you can put a inspection characteristic let's say i'm putting 0% 50% and 100% okay now what is this what is the meaning of this 0% 100% and 50% so this here we have used 0% 50% and 100% so meaning is that if i am putting 0% pressure then my target value the meaning of target value is deflection in pressure gauge it should be 0% if i am putting 50 kg pressure in second characteristic then the deviation should be 50% okay the half of the dial of pressure gauge if i am putting 100% pressure 100 kg pressure sorry then my deviation should be 100% of a dial so this is i want to check so i save this 87 number now let us go and create a maintenance plan because maintenance plan is a primary requirement so here we have a maintenance plan category we we can create a separate category for calibration purpose strategy we are going to use same strategy i'm giving calibration of of and we have our equipment number here this one see the maintenance plan creation will remain same except one thing earlier in case of a uh, preventive maintenance we have used order type called maintenance order here we have to use one order type which is a calibration order because a calibration order must be assigned to the inspection type okay i'll show you okay so i'm going to SPRO setup where I am going to brief you about the calibration order setup. Under the SPRO, in plant maintenance, maintenance and service processing, here we have a maintenance and service order. So, first thing is that. functional setting in order type so configure order type see you can create new order type as per your wish 
the order type creation is pretty simple you have you have to give an order type number then the the description of order type and other details like co partner update it should be always considered as semi activate co partner update make a relationship between co module controlling module and pm module here we have a settlement profile as you know that whenever you create or perform any sort of maintenance task so you will be doing some incurring some cost so that cost must be settled to somebody see this part is not that much uh, needed so you can what you can do for any new order creation you can simply copy any previous order and you can keep other detail as it is now this is a calibration order so how would system know whether this is a calibration order or a regular preventive maintenance order so for that purpose here first thing assignment order type to maintenance plant so whatever order type you have created we that order type must be assigned to your maintenance plant so our maintenance plant is pm01 so you can see in pm01 we have assigned this these many order types okay this is relationship between order type and plant and the most important thing assign inspection type to maintenance order now see here calibration is a kind of inspection okay and our calibration order is pm06 so for this pm06 order type i have assigned inspection type 14 now what is the inspection type 14 inspection type 14 is the one default inspection type provided by sap which is to be used for calibration orders okay uh, later on when we move forward we'll I'll tell you uh, what is the role of the inspection type okay so remember your order type must be assigned to inspection type here here you can see all other order type like pm01 pm02 pm03 has no inspection type it means these orders are not calibration order for calibration order it is mandatory to assign an inspection type 14 to your order type i am again going back to the uh, plan part okay and here we have created one I guess task list, right? Under the scheduling parameter, you can know scheduling period for how long period you want to schedule this order and completion requirement. Once the first order is completed, then only system shall generate a new order. This is the one requirement. see there are two approach first approach suppose you have a maintenance schedule in every month and you want to shed run the schedule for whole year so one approach is that system shall create a 12 orders directly another approach is that in the month of january system will generate one order if that order is satisfied or closed we have performed the confirmation we have done the technical completion then only the next order shall be generated okay and if you want the second approach then this calib com completion requirement tick is mandatory so now now i have created my test plan from where you want to start the cycle so i am putting one month hold date okay now this maintenance plan need to be scheduled in a same way what we did for preventive maintenance simply go to ip10 and click on the start cycle give the date press enter so you can see here we have a all orders schedules now when i save this system shall generate matrix order for me now to check that order you can go to iw 38 there your order type is pm06 for calibration i am also entering my plant pm01 
and let us execute it. So it is showing me two orders. Okay, the second order belongs to us because this is equipment number seven two two seven. This order belongs to seven two two seven. So I simply open that order. See, currently the status we we have observed that here we have a new status called ILAs. What is the meaning of this ILAs? Let's search inspection lot assigned. So what we did in the configuration, we have assigned inspection type 14 to the calibration order. Now, when we schedule the entire plan, so that schedule triggers two functions simultaneously. First that schedule create the maintenance order here. Another thing that schedule also creates one maintenance uh, along with the maintenance order that schedule also create one inspection lot. Okay. And that inspection lot belongs to 14 inspection type. Okay. If you click here, you'll see the inspection lot number. See, this is inspection lot number, right? Now, I'm just copying this inspection lot number. Now, suppose as an instrument person or field person, you'll simply go to QA32 transaction. Okay. In QA32 transaction, you want to check how many calibrations are pending in this month. So, enter your plan number and inspection type 14 here you have a th three options select all inspection lot select inspection lot without user's decision so i'm considering select without user's decision now see i have a two orders i have a two inspection lot here here if you go and see the system status one status says rrec insp means Result recorded and inspected. It is a one old order. Okay. This order is not belongs to us. This is a this is an inspection lot which belongs to us. So here you can see the current status says released. It means now you can use this inspection lot. So as an end user, I have performed the pressure gauge calibration in line. I have put 0% load and I have checked what is the value. I have put 5 kg load. I have put 10 kg load in this way. So whatever were your observation were, you have to enter here. So select your inspection lot, click on result. This particular pop-up is due to the inspection point, what we have entered in our task list. It simply says that this inspection lot belongs to which equipment? This is the same equipment. Now see this much we have created during our task list. Pressure at 0 kg, pressure at 50 kg, pressure at 100 kg. And here we need to enter our actual value. See, when pressure was 0 kg, the deflection was 0. When pressure was 50 kg, the deflection was 50% because I have given here unit of measurement as a percentage. At 100 kg pressure, deflection was 100%. It means this particular inspection or calibration is accepted. Now you can use this equipment or pressure gauge for your further inspection plan. So remember, there are Two things. Along with the maintenance order, you'll have a inspection lot. You need to enter the actual results, your actual observations in inspection lot. And your system can automatically suggest you simply select it. All and click here. Is it close? So see, if your result is as per the desired specification system is also proposing accept you can consider the system proposal or you may change it 
as a reject it depend on your choice okay for second one system is also saying accept for third one system is also saying accept okay now let us save this okay now if i refresh see currently the status is released and clac now i'm going to refresh this screen see my status changed to insp or rrc means inspection done result recording now after this inspection and result recording you need to perform the user's decision user's decision is about a taking or recording a decision whether this equipment is to be usable or not okay for that purpose simply go to the user's decision and here you can select accept or rejected a for accept or r for rejected okay and save this okay here no issue here selected code is not available so uh, uh, in the server so commonly in all servers you will have the selected code as a accepted or rejected so no issue in that i'm not doing user's decision but it is uh, it is suggested to perform user's decision now i'll show you another important thing see the complete objective of this calibration process is not just to make data entry in sap but we also want that system should send us some sort of report so that that report can be shown or can be submitted to the auditor because calibration is one of the favorite topic of all auditors okay so i'm i'm going back and i'm going to show you the report here so see here i have selected the inspection lot i am clicking on this inspection report okay see sap is provided one default sap script which is a one format sap default format if you want to develop your own format then you can develop that format with the help of abapper and you can assign that new format here this is what i'm going to show you it is a sap standard format so this is a script name output device printer see this is inspection report coming inspection report for this equipment uh, this inspection lot material as a pressure gauge because it is a inspection lot so that's why it is showing as a material okay origin plant maintenance it means this report belongs to the plant maintenance in plant maintenance the inspection type 14 is used okay this is a taskless description this is the inspection period the period for which you have inspected okay then equipment name number the valuation accepted yes i have accepted the activity and here you can see these are three characteristic which we have checked pressure at 0 kg pressure at 50 kg pressure at 100 kg so my result was 0% deflection at 0 kg 50 kg 50% deflection 100 kg 100% deflection okay it means this is a okay report i can use this equipment for i can or even if that equipment is currently in use so you can continue using this equipment right so this is one process about the calibration now what else need to be done in this calibration see your order is already in the place okay so we need to close that order also so for that purpose i'll go to iw38 okay pm06 my maintenance plant is pm01 my order type is pm06 this is order so see i have done all the result recording under my inspection lot okay so in this order nothing is to be done so either you can write some sort of comment 
here. Under the operation, if you have done some job, like suppose your uh, your equipment was in in good condition, at fifty percent it was showing wrong deflection. So, if you have done any repair work, so you can simply write down the repair work done here under the operation, and after that you'll confirm that operation in the same way what we have done in case of a preventive maintenance. Okay. See, one thing I want to tell you, if you have any, because when you go to the SAP, you'll find lots of challenges about searching the plan number and all that. So see under this order tab, tab, here we have a planning tab. This planting tab tell us about the maintenance plan number. It means this particular order is generated through this maintenance plan number. Under this maintenance plan number, maintenance item number. What is maintenance item number? Maintain, under the maintenance plan number, you can create many maintenance item. Maintenance item means sub sub plan okay sub maintenance plan so this order is generated due to this maintenance plan and this order is gonna use this task list number 82 is a task list number task list type was a category general task list and group counter one okay so you can have this detail in order itself okay now i am doing technical completion because for all maintenance order, it is always suggested to do the technical completion. So I'm doing technical completion. Here it is again asking me for settlement tool. I'm giving it settlement tool manually. Or you may perform this activity also. PSE reference date and time. Then when I save the, when I press the enter, system shall save this order. See my status got changed to techco. So this was a, a calibration process in SAP. Remember, it is an integration between PM and QM. These are a master data required at PM side. These are a master data required at QM side. And MIC is getting integrated on task list. And on basis of your maintenance plan schedule, maintenance order as well as the inspection lot need to be generated and your actual result shall be entered in inspection lot once your equipment is okay then you can close the maintenance order so that is that was about the calibration process thank you